Previously on Pretty Little Lies. Can I talk to you? It's not a good time. Addison, there's no record of you leaving sick yesterday. You're off the lineup for Saturday's meet. You sure you want to do that? Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I do. I do. I'm going to have the baby. We'll do it together. Wait, so are you two out of time? I have something for you. What is it? This. The Lost Woods? I put the deed in your name. Yours and Allison's. I'd like to go over the major points one more time. I killed Archer Dunhill. She did this for you. We should turn her over to the police. Not like this. She killed Charlotte, and she tried to kill Hannah. She didn't know who I was. It's dead. Did we end the game, or did Mary Drake? Mona did, when she told us what happened to Charlotte. Orson Welles said that if you want a happy ending, that depends, of course, on where you stop your story. So, how does that theme relate to the ending of Then and Now? Emerson, maybe we should give someone else a chance. Luke? It's like when you finish a book and you don't want it to end. Even though the characters are happy, you're still sad that it's ending. Exactly. Isn't your friend the reason the book doesn't have a happy ending? She stole Ezra from Nicole. They were hooking up while she was rotting That's away. enough, Addison. <laughs> it's just my opinion. Let's go. Excuse me, what did you say? You may think you're winning the battle, but I'll win the war. Careful, Allie. You don't want to leave a bruise. I could bury you with that. But then again, it wouldn't be the first time someone buried you. It's Ms. De Laurentiis. meeting with Mrs. Kirsten Black, though. Oh, um, she had to reschedule. Between the two of us, we have to know someone who knows someone who can take care of her. Claire? Are you okay? I'm fine. Addison bullying you? She's not. I'm fine. I'm just leave the class. Addison? Is that you? You should get to class. That was the last bell. Some of us can see and hear. So go. Now. Yes, ma'am. I may not be able to see, but I can smell a bitch a mile away. And I thought you used to be the mean girl. I'm sure she makes a kick-ass life skills teacher, but she still creeps me out. <laughs> 